crypto lightsaber back with another video guys if you saw my video on chromia the day before yesterday i said that we were in a broadening rising wedge and if we got broke out of this wedge it was going to be extremely bullish okay guys so less than 48 hours later you can see that chromia did get a break out of that rising broadening wedge and that is extremely bullish in fact if you did buy the breakout on this you would have made to at the moment approximately 43 percent so congratulations if you did get in on that trade okay guys i want to show you uh, another few tokens that you there still could be some good upside one of them which hasn't moved much uh, already as of yet and another one that is taken off as we speak and that one will be alien worlds tlm okay now you might look at this and think you know what this has already left you behind but in my opinion there is still a lot more upside for this token all right guys DeFi and nft tokens have been the ones to watch uh, they're the ones that are winning right now in a bear market so how to win it in a bear market is to you know identify you know the correct coins to be in okay guys because as the you know the the larger caps are going down there's always going to be something that is outperforming the market okay so right now tlm or alien worlds um is clearly looking good i got a very good entry on this okay uh, before the breakout of this level okay i shouldn't have actually front ran the breakout but i anticipated it would go through and that's literally because we had this massive volume spike at the time of entry okay guys so i thought it was clear that we we're going to get follow through um out of this level in fact i better mark that level out for you just in case you can't see it okay guys so we've got a clear break outside of this level and it looks like we're coming up to test the next level of resistance okay guys and if, if the volume does continue like this um it's definitely going to get a another bigger push remember none of this is financial advice uh, advice please do your own research guys when investing in cryptocurrencies now of course this could pull back to our uh, previous resistance which would become new support and then get a bounce back to the upside but the volume is looking really good and uh, right now i think you know we're gonna see foam and we might see a parabolic kind of like blow off top on this token alien worlds is an nft token um some might have given up on alien worlds uh, down here of course when it came out on binance it went absolutely crazy i actually did farm some of these tokens when it was before it was launched into the innovation zone uh, on binance Okay, but um, obviously I sold my tokens and um, I didn't actually get much, to be honest, for, for what I was, uh, for the amount I put in for farming. But um, yeah, that's just the way it goes. So it's had a big fall with the rest of the market. All right, guys. Um, well, I think that, that fall was before uh, most of the market. Okay, we had a parabolic run from the higher caps and uh, since then it's come down. But this one is one that's not really had its true Binance pump yet. And this could be the first of many Binance pumps for this token. So TLM, Alien Worlds. I'm not going to go through the websites on this video, guys. I'm just going to point out the tokens. You can do your own research. But I was really bullish on this token when I first came across it. It's presented very well. The marketing on it is terrific. Okay, guys. So, yeah, keep an eye on this. Um, I wouldn't say FOMO um, a lot of the time. But, um, yeah, there are clear levels of resistance above. If you look at this whole area okay there's not in fact there's no resistance at all within this range all right guys so i think it's very uh highly likely that it's going to come up to at least test these uh, this support at around 40 cents so that is my analysis on alien worlds nothing too special but nothing too shabby as well could get a pullback and could get a bounce um after after a, a very small pullback or could just continue up and just go parabolic from FOMO because we can see FOMO is clearly kicking in right now. So another way to obviously thrive in the bear market, okay, is to identify those coins that haven't taken off yet. We did it with Chromia. I said, look, it broke out of this downward trending resistance, okay, and then we had this, uh, this rising broadening wedge. We had the volume coming in. And we got a breakout. This is, the, you know, rising wedges are normally bearish patterns. So if they do break bullish, um, it's super bullish. I actually said that to you in the previous video. Uh, but it's looking for those tokens that hadn't taken off yet. I gave you a comparison of AXS. Okay, guys, that went absolutely crazy. That was an NFT coin. And um, it's still going crazy now, actually. All right, so um, you have to look at the scope of what these things can do. I always like to zoom out. But another one that hasn't taken off, the final token for today, is Unify. Okay, now this is a DeFi token. Uh, right now, the NFT tokens are doing the most, but the DeFi, 
Uh, the DeFi tokens have had their runs already, but this one hasn't had much of a run as of yet, which is why I was looking at this token. I actually did buy this breakout. Okay, guys, I've actually taken profit on this token as well. But right now, it looks like it could be coming down to retest this line of resistance or previous line of resistance as a support level. So it could get a, uh, a retest of this level and then a bounce back to the upside. I'm not saying that is guaranteed to happen, but it could be a possible buy entry on this token around this, you know, anywhere between, you know, the $7.70 and um, $7, you know, uh, $8 mark, uh, potentially. Okay, it just depends on, on how long it takes to come back and test this line. And like I said, it's not guaranteed, okay? And the volume is half decent. I would have liked to have seen more volume on a breakout, okay? But if we can get the volume come back in on this, on a bullish bounce, that could potentially drive this price up to begin to test the higher levels of resistance. You've got resistance, you've got resistance levels coming all the way up $9.77, uh, $10, uh, almost $11, and $11, almost $12, and finally around about $14 if we can get some momentum. Okay, guys, so Unify is a, it's, it's called Unify uh, DAO Protocol. All right, guys, and it's, 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 it's a DeFi token launched on Binance, Uniswap, all of that, okay? We had this rising wedge, and every time it came up, it looked more like a complex kind of head and shoulders that was forming, and then we got that breakout of the uh, the rising wedge. Okay, guys, like I said, rising wedges are normally a bearish pattern. It will bounce around and then break to the downside um, in a bear market normally. So you will be trading this normally as a continuation. We got a bullish break, obviously, with Ethereum moving and stuff like that. It's obviously uh, brought this to the upside as well. Okay, but whether we can get that continuation or that follow through, that retest and that bounce, um, that was yet to be seen. Of course, if you do get a bounce, you're looking for you're looking for it to take out the previous high. Okay, even I would put the wick in there in order to say that that was going to continue up. Obviously, if it does come down uh, below here and back into this level, the next level, the, the next buying opportunity will be down here around $6, $6.20 20 or something like that. And hopefully that will get a bounce. But obviously, you know, it is a higher risk. Uh, where it's a lower risk for the fact that you're buying it at a lower level than here. But it's higher risk for the simple fact that it could then, you know, uh, break down and, and and follow through to the downside but obviously it does depend on the price action for ethereum bitcoin and so on okay guys so you may have noticed that all of the pairs that i've shown you are usdt pairs okay because obviously with btc you know being very volatile we don't know which way it's going is it going up is it going down it's very dangerous to be trading btc pairs in my opinion okay because obviously uh, you know if it does uh, fall down to the downside I mean, it's going to fall much harder. USDT pairs normally move with the with uh, they they move um, with the swings of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes up, then the USDT pairs are more likely to go up as well with it. If it goes down, yes, the USDT pairs can go down with it, but there's more strength normally against a USDT pair. Uh, if it is a BTC pair, if Bitcoin goes up. Uh, you, you, the price is going to go down and if Bitcoin falls hard it's probably going to fall hard as well and that's just the way I look at the market guys if you are not subscribed to the channel do me a favor and subscribe that will really help the channel all right guys I'm trying to grow and find it hard to push past the 12,000 subscriber mark well I've gone past it okay but let's get to 13 let's get to 15,000 subscribers hopefully by the end of this year at least okay I'd like to see a lot more than that but I'm being very conserv conservative all right guys and also if you like the video that would definitely help with the algorithm YouTube will begin to recommend the videos a lot more and if you like content like this then you really need to be subscribing because this channel has always been about finding those gems okay that haven't pumped yet that nobody's really talking about okay guys and that's what I intend to continue to do on this channel so we can all thrive together okay so like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video